In a city of riches and fashion, in Frisco where I first saw the light, with the numerous adventures and frolics, so rich in my memory tonight. One evening while out on a ramble, the hour was just about nine, when I met a young maiden in Frisco on the corner of Cherry and Pine. On her face there was beauty of nature, her eyes they seemed to expand, her hair so rich and so brilliant entwined in a blue velvet band. We strolled down the long street together, in my pocket she placed her snow hand. She planted the evidence on me, oh, the girl in the blue velvet band. We heard the wild scream of the siren, and the girl in the blue velvet band. She left me to face all the trouble for a diamond that was worth ten brands. That night when bedtime was nearing, I was standing there close to the bar. I fancied I heard a voice calling far out on the ocean of stars. They sent me to San Quentin prison. God knows I'm an innocent man to serve ten years in the prison for the girl in the blue velvet band. I'll be out in a week, then I'm leaving, but I'll carry the name of the man that served ten years in the prison for the girl in the blue velvet band. But when I get out, I'll endeavor to live in some other land. I'll bid farewell to old Frisco and the grave of my blue velvet band. I am a bonded highwayman, Cole Younger is my name. Through many a temptation, I've brought my friends to shame. For the robbing of the Northfield Bank, they say I can't deny. And now I am a poor prisoner in the Stillwater Jail I lie. Come listen, come Ridge, listen, a story I will tell. Of a California miner on whom my fate befell. We robbed him of his money, boys, and bid him go his way. And that I'll always be sorry of until my dying day. The next thing we defended them off was the Union Pacific Railway. The engineerman and foreman got killed, a conductor escaped alive. And now the poor bodies lies moldering beneath the Nebraska skies. We started then for Texas, that good old Lone Star State. Out on the Nebraska prayer is the James boys we did meet. With guns, cards, revolvers, we all sat down to play. And drinking a lot of good whiskey, boys, to pass the time away. We started then northward, and northward we did go. To the God-forsaken country called Minnesota, our eyes being fixed on the Northfield Bay, when Brother Bob did say, Coley, off you undertake that job, you'll surely curse the day. We pointed out our pickets up to the bank did go. 
And there upon the counter we made our fatal blow, saying, hand us down your money, boys, and make no scariest delays. We are the James and Younger boys and spare no time to pray. This was sung by Cotton Davis in the farm workers community at Portersville. Attention pay to what I say and value it if you do. While I relate the natural fate of bold Jack Donahue. This bold adopted highwayman, as you may understand. Transported by a natural life from Ireland's happy land. From doubling down while I renown from his first breath he drew. His deeds of honor entitled him to bold Jack Donahue. And when he effected his escape to rob, he went straightway. The people were afraid of him to travel night or day. For every day in the newspapers they were reading of something new. Concerning this bold highwayman called Bold Jack Donahue. We'll write McClellan's Bill Collins and also Winslow. These were the four associates of Bold Jack Donahue. Bold Donahue and his comrade rode out one afternoon, not thinking of the hands of death that may or sail them soon. But he burst police to their surprise, they quickly rode in view. And in quick turn, a dead advance to take Bold Donahue. Bold Donahue to his comrade rode out one afternoon. Not think, king of the hands of death that may or sail them soon. I messed up. Bold on the who to his comrades, if you'll prove true to me. Be willing, be bold, be upright, be legally firm and true. This day we'll gain our liberty, said bold Jack Donahue. Oh no, said cowardly winds, low to that we won't agree. For you see, they are fifteen of them, and it's best for us to flee. For if we stay, we'll lose the day, and the battle we will rue. 
Be gone from me, you cowardly dog, said bold Jack Donahue. The sergeant unto Donahue, what do you, Carlobine? Do you intend to fight us or unto us resign? To surrender to such cowardly dogs is something I never would do. I'll fight this day until I die, said bold Jack Donahue. The sergeant and the corporal, their men they did divide. While some rode in behind him and others at his side, the sergeant fired at him and the people fired too. Nine men he caused to bite the dust before the fatal ball had pierced the heart of Donny who which caused him far to fall. And when he closed his trembling eyes, he bid this world adieu. Dear Christians, all pray for the soul of bold Jack Donny who. Three years ago, when Jack and Joe set sail across the foam, each vowed a fortune he would earn before returning home. In one year, Jack gained his wealth, and he set sail that day. As the boys shook hands to part, for Joe could only say, Give my love to Nellie Jack, kiss her once for me. The fairest girl in this whole world, I know you'll say to she. Treat her kindly, Jack, old boy, tell her that I'm well. The parting words were, don't forget to give my love to Nell. Three years had passed when Joe at last had gained his wealth for life. He set sail across, across to make sweet Nell his wife. Around first, the right, and then the left, and then the one that he loves best. Fly, Tucker, fly, fly, Tucker, fly. Hold on, Tucker. Then to the one that he loves best. Fly, Tucker, fly! 